Hello, my name is Aaron Heyman, and I'm an environmental scientist at the Sacramento San Joaquin Delta Conservancy. We're a small state agency, one of 10 conservancies for the state, tasked with protecting specific structures of the California landscape. The Sacramento San Joaquin Delta Conservancy is focused on the Sacramento San Joaquin Delta itself, which comprises sort of a triangle in the middle of the state. If you imagine a triangle from Sacramento to Stockton to Antioch and back. Now this area includes a tremendous diversity of landscapes, habitats, and economic resources that are the primary mission of the Delta Conservancy to enhance and conserve. My duties are comprised largely of project management that further the cause of habitat restoration in the Delta. In particular, the Delta Conservancy was awarded $50 million from a public water bond that was passed a few years ago. And my job falls under the category of distributing those funds to projects in the Delta that are working towards habitat conservation or water quality improvement or sustainable agriculture. My educational history includes a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Sciences from the University of California, Berkeley. Then a few years of internships where I tried to figure out what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. Followed by six years in graduate school at the University of California, Davis, where I received first a master's in avian science and then a second master's in animal behavior. My education benefited me greatly. It gave me a strong foundation in large topics like ecology and evolution and biology and conservation, which have all proved to be very useful, if not vital, to my current position, I'm happy to say. So my career progression that has taken me to where I am so far started very early in childhood volunteering for a number of science-based ecology or conservation related organizations, generally nonprofits, but also some state, federal organizations as well. That engendered with me, in me, a understanding of what the jobs looked like and what the work involved. I very quickly realized that a life in the outdoors, in nature, or protecting nature was really important to me. And so that's how I chose what degree I wanted to attend at UC Berkeley, and what internships I took thereafter, which improved my chances and competitiveness for getting into graduate school, and the degrees that I got from graduate school, which then propelled me into full-time employment with the state of California. If you're interested in pursuing a career beyond academia in state or federal service, such as my own, I would strongly, strongly recommend volunteer work for organizations that are doing the work that you think you might be interested in, and alternately, pursuing some kind of project of your own beyond your studies that allow you to delve into a, a particular topic of interest where you can really own an idea and develop it and know it better than anyone else. So when it comes to words of encouragement to anyone looking at this career as a profession, I would say there's lots of reasons to get into this job. There is lots of work to be done. So much of the natural world is imperiled and needs as many advocates as possible that anyone joining this career will never want for work. Also, it's incredibly rewarding work. Being able to go to a bank of a slough one year and see almost nothing there at all. And then to be able to come back two or three or four or five years later and see native shrubs and trees growing there and birds using them, mammals in the bushes, and knowing that you played a part in making that happen and creating that is incredibly, incredibly satisfying work. In terms of career variation, careers in state service that perhaps have a science bent or a policy bent, there's a tremendous range which makes working for the state government or federal government very appealing to, I think, a large cross-section of students. If you are interested in social sciences, there is a need. If you're interested in physical sciences, there's a need. If you're interested in policy making, there's a need. If you have an interest in almost any facet of the sciences, of wildlife, of human interaction, you will find a place in state service somewhere.